Hi beauties and curls, welcome back for another video and it is another time. It's another time for another update for our Project Pan, our Pan That Palette and One Month One Palette. Now let me just say, first of all, if you are not subscribed to the channel, I would love for you to smash the button. Yes, I said it. Yes, <laughs> you, you're going to have fun over here. I really do believe that. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. YouTube is not letting people know when the videos are coming in so I would love for you guys to hit the notification bell. I do post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I do add bonus videos a lot of times but let's get straight into this. First let's talk about the NYX Highlight and Pro Contour Palette. Now I do want to say this. This retails for I want to say $25 and is it worth the money? In a way, I say yes and no. Just because it's drugstore doesn't mean that it is worth the money. It needs to have the quality of me utilizing the product, even if it costs a dollar. If I don't use it, I have lost a dollar. I hope that may makes sense. But this is the highlight and contour palette. So I want to show you guys all the updates up until now, the intro, the updates. And I think we're up to update five or six um, I definitely will have that in this video, but let me go ahead and show you what progress I have made. Now, I this case coming off has made it kind of difficult to me because I tend to lose motivation of using a product, especially when I have other things. When lids like this come off, it is a well-loved, as you can tell, of the dirtiness of this. And it's not really dirty, it's just powdery because of the powders. But I have finally broke in this yellow shade now i will say after these are completely finished i think i'm gonna be done with this i don't think anything else becomes really appealing to me these are powdery but they are good now i want to say this when you find a product like this versus this and i believe this is my second one this is the nyx hd finishing powder i'm just noticed because of the dryness of my skin when i'm normal to dry this is a finer powder and i like this a whole lot more so instead of purchasing this next time i believe i'm going to go with something like this i'm not sure you know sometimes you end up falling in love with these products by the time you finish them but uh as of right now i feel like this is really, you know, the setting powers is what I get through faster. And I do have some other bronzers that I tend to love more than this. So I believe that after this pan, project pan, I think once I finish these, I'll be done. I feel like this palette will be out of my system. Okay, so let's move on to the Lorac Pro palette. This is the number one. And I got so tired of this that I actually had to give this a break. That's why I did not come with an update last month. In the month of March, I didn't come with one at all, but I have bro broken through and made some progress, considerable product progress on this product. So I do want to show you the intro one two three four i can't tell i can't remember if i'm at five or six just because i didn't do an update last night i did not give an update last month but this is where we are right now we have panned three not three i'm sorry we panned five now in the last update that you guys saw espresso sable and taupe were the only three and i got so tired of this but at the end after that update I finally broke through with cream and as you can tell I have been using that a whole lot and I have pan gold I believe that champagne and light bronze are the next ones that I'm going to pan and I will let you know pewter light bronze gold champagne and nude once I have pan four more shades I think I'm gonna be done with this I feel like I will be satisfied and I think I'm going to maybe pass it on to my sister I think that this is a great everyday palette but for me I feel like I don't give other palettes enough love. I don't know when the next time I will do a pan that palette. I don't know if I'll be inspired to do that, but I tend to like the rotation of products or palettes rather than just sticking to one. I do like sticking to this one everyday palette and digging into some other ones. I don't know. I might want to do that, but this is where we are. We have pan five, and I think after we pan four more, I think I will be satisfied with this product. 
and probably move on to another palette or do another project pan. I don't know. If you guys have ideas down below, let me know. But I, oh, this is the thing that I do know is that light bronze and champagne, I believe I'm going to be using those and nude. I'm going to be using those as highlighters and that is what's really going to help me because I'll be using more surface space or the con con I'll be using more surface space on my face and I feel like that's what makes powders and larger items like this quicker for me to pan than these is because I use these more often than just dipping in one at a time. So that's the plan. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye ladies.